It's January 17th, 2020. I'm reporting on location from Freedom Shooting Center in Virginia Beach, where the VCDL, in association with Freedom Shooting Center, is hosting a live fire competition for new shooters, as well as a pre-lobby day meeting for the Virginia Beach residents. And there was a bevy of excitement as almost 200 people showed up for the competition as well as the meeting. The basis of the competition was to help new shooters learn how to shoot a 22 caliber pistol. This was a lot of fun. Many of these individuals have never shot before and as such had a great introduction to firearms. But that's not all. Shooters were introduced to different kinds of firearms such as AK-47s, AR-15s, MP5s, and 308 rifles. It was a great time and all done under the watchful eye of a range safety officer provided by Freedom Shooting Center as well as Brendan Mooney, an executive member of the VCDL and other VCDL volunteers. And I was excited to see Julio show up from WTKR and his cameraman Justin. These two guys have been great to me as I've been going around covering news for you. As for the meeting, there was some very important information put out. The first part being that you can find everything you need to know about the meeting times and places on the vcdl.org webpage, but specifically within the VCDL Defender. Download this seven page PDF. It has all the information in there for you really. I'll leave a link down below. There is a link on the VCDL webpage, and there will also be a link to download this directly on va2a.news. A couple of things to know about. Number one, it's a lobby day, not a protest day. The word rally has very special, significant legal importance. The VCDL does not have a time to rally except for 11 a.m. Everything else is lobby. So if you do happen to talk with anybody, if there are any press or reporters there, don't use the word rally. The VCDL is asking that you just say lobby. The only time there will be a rally is for one hour, and that is on the Capitol steps, and that is a permitted event. The lobby day is a state day for all Virginians to lobby. People are allowed to lobby there without a permit, but you have to have a permit to rally, so be careful about using that syntax. Next thing to know is that VCDL sponsored buses arrive at 7 to 8. You get your stickers at 8, 9 the committee meetings happen, 11 is the rally, and then the rest takes place out and about at 1 o'clock. The afternoon session begins at 2 p.m. The VCDL sponsored buses leave. It's very important to know that. Another thing to note about the buses is that there is to be no political campaigning or handing out of political motivated materials on the buses. And let's talk about a couple final things to know with the Defender. Within the Defender PDF, you will see a complete map of the area with road closures. You will also see overhead maps of how to enter and exit with the one-way signs as well as parking. Also, don't forget to bring a snack. Many of the food vendors have said they will be closed during lobby day. And finally, go ahead and read Executive Order 49. You're going to be most concerned with Part C. It explains the boundaries of the temporary gun ban as well as the items which are banned. Mace is an included banned item. And it sure was a fun time today hanging out with the VCDL over at Freedom Shooting Center. And that's all the news that's fit to print. I'm Robert Hamm for Virginia Second Amendment News. I'm reporting on your rights. Thank you for watching.